I'm Martin Highland, the Managing Director of Immerse Medical and an Emergency Department Nurse in the NHS. In this video, we're going to have a look at how you can help when someone's having an anaphylactic reaction. Anaphylaxis is an extreme and severe allergic reaction which affects the whole body. Anaphylaxis is life-threatening. Here's how you can help. Think A, B, C. People with a severe allergy to food, insect stings, prescribed drugs or latex might experience one or more of the following symptoms in any combination. A. Airway obstruction, where symptoms could include hoarseness, a swollen tongue, itching or swelling in the throat. B. Breathing difficulty. The person might be short of breath, wheezing, they might have noisy breathing and they might become tired and you might see a blue colour around their lips called cyanosis. C. Circulation impairment. The person could have pale or clammy skin, a rapid weak pulse and they might feel faint or dizzy. Are you okay? Are you feeling dizzy? Come and lay on the floor. Laying a victim on the floor when they're dizzy will help with their blood pressure. During an anaphylactic reaction, some people might show other signs such as a nettle-like rash or tongue swelling. Can you poke your tongue out? You have got a rash, have you? Have you eaten something? Do you think you're having an allergic reaction? People who have been diagnosed with anaphylaxis should be carrying their adrenaline auto-injectors. Take their pen, remove the cap, and stab the pen into their outer thigh and keep it there for up to 10 seconds. You don't need to remove their clothing to do this. Rub their thigh for 10 seconds. Now it's time to phone an ambulance. Call 999, ask for an ambulance, and tell them that you're with someone who's having an anaphylactic reaction. Monitor their airway, breathing, and circulation. And if after five minutes their symptoms haven't improved, give their second adrenaline auto-injector, but into the other thigh. 